Welcome to the edition to the Assassin's Sports Show, guys. Thank you for love, appreciation. You bring each and every day. Y'all have to face the run the place. I cannot do the show. Watch, I guys. Thank you for likes, thank you for the shares, thank you for your comments. And guys, thank you so much for taking time to watch my videos each and every day. And I'm amazing fans, I cannot do the show. Watch, I. Plus, guys, if pass by the YouTube channel, like the content, like the show, hit that subscribe button, become an assassin today. Guarantee, baby. Guarantee. To my original assassins, thank you so much for sticking with me each and every day. Y'all yeah, amazing. My new assassins, welcome to the show. I hope you enjoy it. And those who have not subscribed yet, hopefully you can subscribe to my channel to make it to 2K. That's the goal. But I want to say to all my fans, thank you so much. And especially those fans who had meet, um, meet and greet me here in the gym. That, you know, the, the gym that I've been talking about, the, prom the promotion, the sponsor. <clears throat> I've been going to it. I have met, met some incredible people. So, like I said, Champ Zone Fitness. That's the best gym i ever been to. They motivate you. They do a lot of different things for your body and, and you will learn how to really work out. So go check them out. Uh, it's called Champ Zone Fitness. Now, and if you live in Broward, it Core Springs, Davie, and Plantation area. So go check them out. And, tell, and use the promotion code Assassin Sports Show and check them out and tell me what you think. A lot of people have enjoy it. And one thing, you are there to work, and they are going to make you work. That, that's guaranteed, guys. Guaranteed. So, go check them out. Tell me what y'all think. So, guys, enough that, right? Let's talk about free agency. I've been getting hit, hit up all day from everywhere. So, even when I went to the gym, what's going on with the Dolphins? Why the Dolphins are not spending? What mean I'm making splashes? All that, and I'm going to get to that. And, and I, I'm going to get to to that um, subject, but I'm gonna tell you who they who they did sign. I love this signing, by the way. Jacoby Bosset, great signing, one year deal. You didn't pay him nothing for a backup role. I told you that was my list. I wanted Teron Taylor, Jacoby Bosset, and we got Jacoby Bosset for cheap, for nothing. Nice, nice pickup. Um, we picked up a running back, Malcolm Brown. Listen, Dolphin, I told y'all, y'all didn't believe me when I told you we ain't spending for Jones. We ain't, we ain't gonna do it. I know how this. I told y'all how this regime is thinking. I told y'all, y'all could listen to the beat writers. Y'all could listen to, to other shows because I know y'all do, and that's okay. Y'all do, and that's awesome because you want to learn. And this is the only show who told you, don't listen to the beat writers. Don't listen what they think. Because they could say anything to, this show doesn't, okay? This show is different than another show. Because I'm telling you the truth. I told you, Duffy ain't going to spend a lot of money. I told you, Jones is not coming here. Yes, he resigned with um, Green Bay, whatever. Miami was not going to throw money at him, okay? Relax. Okay, relax. This is not a sprint. It's a marathon, okay? Uh, uh, other question I have. Oh, the Patriots are getting everybody. We're going to be in trouble. No, 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 no. We was... The Patriots are desperate, okay? Let's say, let's say it again. The Patriots are desperate, and that's why they're throwing money around like crazy people. They're going to be in cap hell when they realize... In the end, they're going to be in cap hell. So relax. They are spending a lot. They're overpaying. First of all, they're overpaying for players. Right? They are. Great for the players. Now, the personalities, do they gel together? Because you're going to have personality. When you throw that kind of money, you're going to have person. You're going to have characters issue with those, with those guys. Because you just can't tell them what to do. And Bill, Bill the check, you know how he runs. They're going to say what they want because they got paid. They still got Cam Newton, okay? And I'm going to say this again. They got Cam. Cam can, is not the quarterback he once was. He's not accurate. So you could get him all the weapons, all this, whatever. I'm telling you, relax. Don't listen to the media, what they're saying. They just media, man. They don't know nothing. Relax. Bring it back. 
I love what the Dolphins are doing. I, I'm really do. I told y'all, don't listen to them. I love what they're doing. They're sending back. Oh, this is what we're going to pay you. You don't like it? Hit the road, guy. Because we don't want knuckleheads. We don't want to overpay. And then you, you're upset. And, and you don't want to play for us. And because uh, I got paid this much. I should get the ball more. Or I got... No, 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 no. Coach Flores... And, and this is what fans have to, Coach Flo told y'all, we're not going to get everything we want. Told y'all, they're going to be patient. Because they know they're going to be drafting players. They know they, they got the third pick in the draft. Okay? The third pick in the draft, they just got. They got the 18th pick in the draft. So we gotta get a receiver, tight end, however you wanna size it, whoever's there. I'll tell you, now I am convinced they are training back. They are training back. They're gonna get more picks. And they're gonna get what they need. They're not gonna overspend for players. I told you they're not overspending for receivers. They're not gonna overspend for money. Let me tell you something. And I'm gonna tell you this. Who's the one receiver you say, you know what? He's a, a game changer. And ain't T.Y. Hilton. He's not, he's old, he's not a number one. And ain't Juju Schuster. I like Juju, but he's not a number one. Right? Yes, he's a nice piece to the puzzle. Perfect. But he's not a, no let's get it right, guys. He's not a number one. He's not. Y'all could agree to disagree with me. He's just a nice piece to the puzzle. Well, I love to have him, yeah, but I'm not paying him 15 to 16 million dollars to bring him here. No, I'm paying him around 12 to 13. That's what I think his price range is. If he don't like it, move. I told you, everybody was saying Jones. I told you they don't, they're not gonna overpay for Jones. Then they, um, they got this kid from the other Detroit. I'm, I'm forget, I'm going to blank, and you know, sorry about that. The other wide receiver from Detroit, they're not gonna overpay for him, right. He's what we got, big body type receivers. No, we don't need another one like that. I told you, I, they signed up fine, you know, whatever. They're being patient. And this is the other key, guys. People are gonna get started getting released because the Saints has to release more. Green Bay has to release a lot more. So relax. This is not a sprint, it's a marathon. Let the crazy people throw the money away like crazy people. The Dolphins are doing something smart. They they trading for players who they want. And by the way, they are they are in conversation of trading for a other linebacker from Texas, from the Texas. Texas should not be training with us, but that's not here and there. Relax, take a chill pill. You know, I like what they're doing. How many times did the Miami Dolphins overspend for players? How many times have they played players to come in and never worked out? Did you see a pattern? You're not gonna do the same thing over and over. That's the same, doing the same thing over and over. It's the same. What you do, New England? Yes, New England is desperate and they are just gonna spend, spend, spend. By the way, Buffalo, Everybody's talking about New England is going to um, come back and, and run the division. No. I'll tell you right off the bat, it's going to be Miami and, and Buffalo for the division. I really believe that. Here it is, guys. In a nutshell, I like what they're doing. Don't overpay for players. Because look, look what happened um, last season. We had to cut two. We traded one of them. We had to cut one. So you don't build a free agency. You just don't. You build from the draft, and you get a couple of pieces here and there. You don't get like six or eight, nine pieces in, in free agency. J j you just don't do that. And you're not, you're not going to overpay for a player for that, okay? Now, this is my, my dream signing. Kleine. I will sign Kleine. But no, 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 no. Let's not get it twisted. I signed him for the minimum. I signed him for 6 to $8 million. He don't want to walk. He's injury prone anyway. He could walk. One year deal, boom, done. I will sign him. 
Now you have to agree to disagree with me. That's what I do. I told you Juju Sh Schuster, 30 to 12 mil per. You want to sign a one year deal? Fine. Let's sign a one year deal. But I'm not paying him more than that. I'm just not. I like what they're doing. Now, if you ask me for the center, now I would take a hard look. I know they like the Andrews kid from New England. He's not bad. But I really would look, look from the Oakland Raiders kid. He just got released. Now, he might cost a little bit of money. See, I told you, they are not going to go crazy in free agency. They just not. Like, I'm surprised last year when they signed J um, Jones. And they got him. Fine. I don't know. But you know why they got him? Because they didn't know Xavier Harrow had a procedure he a procedure in his knee. Okay. And they didn't know about him. That's what they they drafted Noah and that. Oh, by the way, they are gonna trade Xavier Howard. Just a, just a nugget that they are trading Xavier Howard away. He wants more money and he got a three year a three year deal still with us. Nah, but I kicked his ass out real quick. Give me two first rounders and let's go. I like what they're doing. Relax. Take a deep breath. They gotta sign more players. It's just you don't need to break the bank on each and every guy because they didn't get this. I know y'all say Curtis Samuel. Yeah, nice, nice piece to the puzzle. Again, nice piece to the puzzle. Is he's your number one? No, he's a number two. You need a, you want to pay a number one? Julio Jones. You want to pay a number one? Julio Jones is your number one. Odell Beckham is a number one. Guys like that, they're worth the money. To me. To me. Tell me in free agency what receiver is worth that money. Who's that Odell Beckham? Who Who is a... A, um... Hawkins. Defon Diggs. Um... Julio Jones. Type receiver. Again. Relax. It's, it's just beginning... People are getting desperate. I told y'all this was going to happen. Told y'all. Told y'all, told y'all, told y'all. They didn't believe me. Now I hope y'all do believe me. Because this is what it is. And I'm loving it. I love what they're doing in free agency. Waiting back. Because when people spend their money, guess who? Guess what got to come to us? Because eventually, we're going to get good players. Because people can't afford them. Maybe it's a one-year deal. Maybe it's a two-year deal. Whatever the case may be, they're going to get good players. They could get scheme players. That's what they like. So, guys, that's the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Tell me what you think. Tell me if you um, do you agree, disagree with me. Y'all might not agree with me, and that's okay. This is y'all show, too. Y'all don't agree with me? Fine, don't. But you got an opinion. I want to hear it. And you know I get back to you. This is the only show who always get back to y'all. So, guys, remember again, hit that subscribe button. Pure on today, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching. God bless, guys.